Hey, Eddie from the Bat Cave here. How's everybody doing this week? I'm gonna show you my pulls. Very short. I'm pretty excited about that. And also, my mail call for this weekend or last weekend that passed. But first, I want to give a big shout out to Jay Christopher for a speedy recovery. He's from Gray Matters. He does these little videos like I do here. Um, he fell ill and hopefully he bounces back stronger than ever. Jay, take it easy, relax, let the family take care of your need, soak it up, okay? Um, hope to see you soon. Okay, Predator number one that came out maybe two weeks ago, maybe? I finally read the book. Really, really good. I'm not sure if I'm going to pick up number two, but number one was excellent. It started off with uh, the beginning of the page of the years that the Predator came in, which referred back to the movies with Arnold Schwarzenegger, when he was in Los Angeles fighting a uh, gangster um, guys for the drugs and so forth. Then it went to the future when this young little girl uh, lost her family to the Predator. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to tell you no more about it, but it was good. I really liked that. I was not disappointed with this book. Will I pick up number two? I don't know yet. So, But number one was excellent. was excellent. All right. Let's get going. You're probably wondering, I have a communicator here, right? Star Trek? Well, in order to celebrate Star Trek issue 400, there we go. Excuse the glare. Beautiful, beautiful cover. They're celebrating the 400th issue. What was nice about this book is, I didn't read it yet, um, they do have five, what is down here somewhere? Six stories, six stories or something like that. And uh, they did a nice little page dedication to Nichel. Nichel? I probably said it wrong, but um, Lieutenant Yuhura. Not, nice little picture cover for her in remembrance. And they also did the covers, the variant covers. They're in here too. So pretty nice. And the last story, if you remember Gary Mitchell from episode two of Star Trek, he's in there. It's not the story of uh, episode two, but he's in there. So it's pretty good. I can't wait to read it. Cover is beautiful. 400th issue from IDW. Pretty awesome. All right. Okay. That was this part of my haul. Last week, I got Superman World War Apocalypse. Look at that cover. Nice cover. Excuse the glare. Read this. Was story was not bad. Was not bad. I wasn't disappointed with this book. All right. From DC Batman 127, the, uh, the fight continues with failsafe. Read this before I came on. Yeah. Yeah. Batman's getting beat bad. But is it Batman or is it Zer in R? If you're trying to wonder who he is, I think he first appeared in Batman 113, 113, 1958. It's an alien Batman. But I don't want to go too much into detail about it. But uh, he makes an appearance here. All right. Story was good, though, guys. Read it. Loved it continues on next week the second part with Catwoman in there pretty good I enjoyed it. it has to do with the penguin so I'm not gonna tell you any more than that all right did enjoy that book from Marvel all out Avengers number one I read this before I came on yeah don't pick it up if you don't want to pick it up I mean if you want to because it's an Avenger thing go ahead I didn't really care for the story again guys this is my opinion Artwork is beautiful. Greg Land does awesome. But the story itself, man, I don't know. It wasn't for me. Okay. Captain America number four, Sentinel of Liberty. I, I did not read number three yet. I do have number four. Nice little cover with the star. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, issue two, I, I, I didn't care for it that much. But since you do a pre-order, you have to get it. There we go. That's that. Hopefully, this one is better. If not, I'll let you know. New from DC, Black Label. Oh, well, it's not Black Label. Batman, Dear Detective, from Lee Bermejillo. I like to say Betajimo. Beautiful, beautiful artwork. This shows all the artwork that, or the covers that he did for Batman or Detective, and they made it into a story. All right? And it's beautiful. I have not looked, uh, have not read it yet, but there is some writing in here. Look at that. Oh, excuse me. Look at that. Ain't that sweet? Beautiful, beautiful book. I like this one. Right, so it's all the covers that he did for the detective and Batman. So, uh, yeah. 
I'm pretty excited about this. I can't wait to read it. So that's that one. I don't know if that was a key this week or not. All right. Had a weekend haul from Zombie Comics, Zombie Hideout up here in Springfield. He had everything half off. Not everything. The dollar books were 50 cents. The 50 cents were 25 cents. And the three dollar books were $1.50. So I went for the three dollar books. All right. This is what I got. Batman number 691. RN, I hope you're watching. You'll be proud of me, man. Uh, 692 Detective. Oh, Detective or Batman? Detective. There we go. Yeah, that's to fill in my slots uh, or the holes I have. Uh, Detective 557. Now, remember, guys, when you buy uh, these books on sale, take the book out of the bag, put a new bag, a new board on it, and it looks like crispy clean, all right? Like brand new. Detective Comics 627. I had this already, but for a buck fifty, why not? Okay. Detective 555. Yeah, I was in heaven Monday. Batwing number one. That. Amazing Spider Man 274. Excuse the glare. See how nice that looked? It was in a beat up bag and board, and I replaced it. Look at it. Look, almost like brand new. There we go. Captain America 343. There we go. Batman 652. Fantastic Four 217. First family of superhero. There you go. And Detective 825. All right, excuse the glare. Well, that's it. That's what I got from Zombie Hideout. And it was sweet. There was a couple guys there digging through the 50 cents bin. Um, had no uh, bags or board, but it piles and piles. So, all right. I hope they found what they were looking for. That's all I have for you guys. Anything you want to talk about, you give me a holler. You let me know. As always, from the Batcave, this is Eddie Nieves. See ya.